and we'll go ahead and get started. Um, I will be recording this so that I can post it after class today. And welcome everyone to our second to last class of the semester. Um, I see that there's about 20 people missing, which is a huge bummer because I made a mistake in going through and making sure that I counted everything adequately. One of our learning activities was actually split into two parts. So I counted one at learning activity twice and I should have only counted it once. So your final learning activity, not including your digication assignment will be turned in today, but I'm gonna give you time. If you didn't go through and see what content you needed to cover, I'm gonna give you time to do that today because we do not have any new content that we're covering. So there will be no lecture. Um, so let me start with a couple of things first. First off, all of the self checks are done. I have gone in and exempted and it'll look like a little gray bubble that's filled in that two of those little gray bubbles will now be in your grade book. Then I took the lowest two. So if you had two zeros, I took your zeros. If you had two ones, I took your two ones. If you had a two and a three, I took your two and three. Whatever your lower scores were, those two scores have essentially been erased from the grade book. They're still there, but they're not appearing in your total. After today, and then again on Saturday, once you go through and complete today's learning activity, and then the learning reflection for digication, which is due on Saturday, the 21st, then I will go in and I will exempt three of the learning activity scores. So if you have three zeros, then I'll take away three zeros. If you've got an eight and a seven and a six, then I'll take away the eight, seven, and six if the rest are tens. So what you're gonna see is that the total points that are required in your grade total will start to increase and shift up, okay? Um, so like I said, today I'm gonna give you time because we don't have any new content to complete the learning activity if you haven't already done it. If you did already do it, then you will go through and um, just submit it and then you'll be done for today. So I just got a question from Mallory. Mallory, you need to check the syllabus. Um, there are A pluses. So on page six of your syllabus, it goes through all of the points and then what the letter grade is associated with those points. Okay guys, so self checks are graded, they're done. Um, now you'll finish the last learning activity today and you'll turn in your learning reflection and digication by Saturday, those will be graded. And then I will go through and I will exempt three of the scores for that particular chunk of your points for the class. Um, let's look at that digication right now. Okay, hang on, let me just see where my screen is on Blackboard, make sure I don't open up. Oh, good thing I didn't do that. Make sure I don't open up into the grade book because I've been doing lots of grade stuff. Okay, so let me switch my screen here and get you guys into Blackboard. And there was a video tutorial that you could have looked at if you go into this how to videos section on Blackboard. How to create a digital portfolio. You've done this when we did these digital portfolio assignments about the, let me see here. Either the seventh or eighth week of class. We did those dig these digital portfolios. So you shouldn't need to create a digital portfolio unless you didn't do it, in which case you need to review this. What you need to do if you're having issues with your digital portfolio, because remember, as much as I am here to help you guys out, I am not tech support. And my view and the things that I see in Blackboard aren't always the same as yours. So you need to use these how-tos to work through some issues. This tells you how to edit the learning reflection assignment, and that's what you're gonna click on. I'm not gonna click on it because I'm just gonna show you. So for this final, uh, assignment, aside from what you're turning in today, for the learning reflection digitation assignment, here's what you need to do. You're going to go in to digital portfolio login and it should automatically log you in. So just wait for a second. I didn't click anything and there I go. I'm going to click into the one, my digitation portfolio I've already assigned and you all have yours listed right here, but hopefully yours will come up. And once I click on it, it's taking me into digication. All right. There's all these different tabs that you can use, but we're doing the health and well-being. 
And once I click on that, you'll see down here on this left side, it says learning reflection. And this is where you will click. These are the directions for your learning reflection assignment. I had a, a handful of you email me like, well, what do I do once I get in here? This is what you do. Reflect on your learning experiences in this course. How does it relate to health and well-being? Your response should be two to 300 words in length, which comes out to about one to two paragraphs. Refer to this resource, which we looked at earlier in the semester. Um, I keep looking over here because I'm just taking a look at the syllabus that tells you what reflective writing is. When complete, you have to delete these instructions, click the save and then publish. So let me just show you. So when you click on this edit tab, it's showing you these instructions again. So you need to save these somewhere else because what you'll do is you'll hit control all and delete. And then this is where you're gonna type in your two to 300 words reflecting on what you learned in this class and how that relates to health and well-being. You will then wanna click down on this bottom corner for save, and then you have to go over to publish. I'm gonna cancel it because I'm not doing that. If you don't publish it, then I won't be able to see it and my TA Stephanie and I will not be able to grade it. Okay? Now again, I just did that very quickly, but it's because it's very simple. Um, you just need to know where to, collect, to, to click in order to connect. Um, and when I go back into this uh, Blackboard, if you click on this how-to video, this how-to video, you know, there's a delay as my computer is like, this is too much. All right. When you go into this how to edit the learning reflection assignment, it's exactly the same steps that I just showed you. So this assignment worth 10 points is due by Saturday, the 21st, end of day, 11.59 p.m. Okay? Any questions about completing that digication assignment? No questions? Nothing? Nada? So yes, the health and well-being section of Digication is the only part you'll do, but then you'll only click on the learning reflection piece because you already did the introduce yourself. So just that learning reflection piece with the instructions outlined there. Two to 300 words, writing about what you took away from this class and how it relates to health and well-being. Make sure you publish it. If you don't publish it, you won't get graded on it. And I'm not gonna take late stuff because it's really important that you're following the directions, especially at this point in the class, because you've been doing this stuff. Um, and if you get started on it today, I mean, you could get this all done today, you guys. So what you have due today, which is the final learning activity, if you went into the content for class today, you guys should have watched this. There's more that more to being happy video um, or TED talk. And then you should have gone through and talked and done um, a little bit of an evaluation about the different kinds of stories that we tell ourselves, which I found to be really interesting. And then you were to kind of create your own story. So you were going to evaluate this flourishing scale, write down your score and talk a little bit about what score you received. And then, write a response with the following. What is it meant by flourishing and positivity? And then how is flourishing related to well-being? And if you've already done that, and you took care of all that stuff, then you don't have to do anything today. And you'll just go into final learning activity, you'll click here, and then you'll submit right here. Either click on write your submission, don't write it all in the comments because then it creates this tiny little bar section where we have to read it all. So either click on write your submission and do it in this appropriate text box, or if you've already done it in a Word doc, then you can put it right here and just attach it and submit it. So this is due today by 1.30. It's your final learning activity based on what you should have been reviewing as you came into class today. And we're just trying to tie everything up and allow you guys to really kind of think about and evaluate what it is that you've done over the course for this semester. So this final learning activity, based on the content that you reviewed before class today, is due by 1.30. The other thing that is due is your digital portfolio, 
learning reflection activity, which you go through Digication, you find your name, or well, hopefully your name clicks up is at the top. You go to health and well being, click on learning reflection. And then here's where you see the instructions. When you head over to edit, you delete the content, you put your post here, you save it, you publish it. This is due Saturday, the 21st by 11.59 p.m. I wouldn't wait that long, just get it done. Get it done and I can grade everything. Okay, no questions? Yeah, okay, hang on. Oh, they all came in. Health and blood. Saturday is when the, this digital portfolio piece is due Saturday. Yes, Laura. Michaela, I don't know what you're talking about. Which assignment do you mean we turn everything in? If you're doing the digication, the learning reflection, it's due in the digication platform. If you're doing, if you're talking about the learning activity for what you were completing today, that is due in Blackboard at the link in module seven. So when I click on module seven and I go down to final learning activity, if I click here, this is where you're gonna turn in your reflections about the flourishing scale and um, what score you received. So there are two different places that you're gonna be turning two different assignments into. So the learning activity only includes the flourishing scale and not the storytelling part. That is correct. So you're gonna do the flourishing scale and then talk about your score, write a few sentences, and then answer these two questions. That is correct. Yes. Manuel, I don't know what to tell you about your profile popping up in a different area. Erin, I don't know what you mean by what is the final learning activity supposed to look like. Mariana's question is yours. What was her question? Oh, okay. Yes, perfect. So you're all set, Michaela. Will you be putting up the recording of this class so I can review? Yes, and you don't even, honestly, you don't even need to see this, Ariana. If you go into these how-to videos, exactly what I just showed you is in the how-to videos on how to edit your learning reflection portfolio. Mariana, you're so welcome. This is all we're doing today, Shawnee. Yes, Jesus, put everything for the learning activity, everything for this part that's on the screen right now, just put it into one document for sure. Oh, Manuel, if you've done a number of other portfolios, then you just wanna make sure that you click on the correct one for this class, which is the one that has that infinity sign. Jesus and Shani, you're very welcome. Don't leave yet though, I got one more thing to tell you guys. The storytelling thing was just another thing for you guys to reflect on and to do before as you prepared for um, thinking about your learning reflection and just tying up the course. Teresa. I don't know what you mean, Manuel. The what sign? Huh? Oh, the infinity. It looks like an eight on its side. Here, I'll go back into education. I just don't know what your screen looks like. See how it kind of looks like an infinity sign? But it should be the Health Solutions Core Advantage one. So if you have lots of things in education because you've done this for other classes or you've messed up in the past, you want to click on the one that looks like this, Health Solutions Core Advantage. Oh yeah, Shawnee, that's all we're doing today, but if they leave the chat, then they're not gonna hear about the extra credit for class next week. Oh, so, um, okay, if everything else is the same and well, fine, then you should be just fine. Make sure you publish it. Perfect. Okay, so the final thing, and I'll leave this open um, in case I get any other questions, is next Thursday is our actual final class, and we're gonna be back in the classroom that I despise. Um, but we're gonna have a great presentation to kind of finish things off for this semester. And it's a really important topic. So I encourage you to all be there. Plus, 
the first 20 minutes of class or probably 15 minutes is going to be an extra credit quiz and it's going to cover some of the different content that we've discussed in class over the course of the semester. It's only going to be five points, but still if five points takes you because you should know all of your points by then. Five points may take you up to the next letter grade um, or just help give you a little boost. So it'll be 15 to 20 minutes, probably 15 because it's only five questions, 15 minutes, multiple choice questions at the beginning of class next week. And then we're going to have a terrific presentation. I just really encourage you all to attend. I'm going to bring some treats and snacks and no, Aaron, you cannot work in partners for the quiz. Um, there isn't actually a way for me to even do that. So no, they have to all, they'll be done online. You'll, you'll log into Blackboard and do it. Um, and everyone will do it individually. And um, snacks, I like to bring in treats at the end of the semester. And we'll have a great presentation and then we'll be done for the semester. You guys will be, you'll be out. So no, Caitlin, if you get a zero, nothing happens. I mean, absolutely not. The quiz isn't necessarily gonna be easy, but if you've attended and participated in all the classes, it's gonna be something that you'll, you'll be able to make your way through at least getting a few points for sure. But if you want to go through and do a little studying and just review content, I would suggest that. Yes, it will be multiple choice with maybe even a couple of true false. It's mainly, mainly just seen to be as a little bit of a reward for people who've really put the time and the energy and the effort into understanding and engaging in the content. And that's all I got. That's all I have for today. Self-checks are already done. You have two exempt scores, which is essentially dropped scores. Your final learning activity is due today. I gave you till 1.30 to get that learning activity done and submitted in Blackboard in the link at the bottom of module seven. Digication learning reflection is due. Make sure you save it and publish it by Saturday at 11.59. Um, and then our last class will be next Thursday in the classroom and there will be five points extra credit for a quiz at the beginning of class. Dana, no, I have not. Wait, which grades? I've already dropped the lowest grades for the self checks, but I haven't done the learning activities because you haven't finished them all yet. I need you guys to finish the one today and the one Saturday. So before you come into class next Wednesday, you will be able to go into the grade book and see where your grade is at. Good try, Manuel. But if you want to bring in pizza for the whole class, I would support that. Technically, we're not even supposed to have food in the classrooms. In particular, that classroom where there's so much technology and food could just get stuck in all the keyboards and everything. I wish, wouldn't that be awesome? They should, I agree. Any other questions or thoughts? I will be around later this afternoon, but I'm actually going to be taking on a meeting here at one o'clock. So I don't want to get off class and then be inundated with 15 emails of questions that we just covered. No, Caitlin, if you're having problems with your digication, I have no ability to fix it for you. So you need to go back into that how to videos or digital portfolio help and call them, which is why none of you should wait until Saturday in case you do have some sort of issue with your digication. I cannot be tech support. So Caitlin, click on those links on the side. I don't know what you're seeing. And even if I, even if you explained it to me, I wouldn't be very much help. But this is digital portfolio help and then how to videos. There are numbers in there that you can call and email addresses that you can reach out to to get tech support within Digication. Anything else, guys? Yes, the learning reflection, anything that was worth 10 points can be dropped. Oh, okay. Yeah. Caitlin, go through the help link and see what you see what you can find. Most of the time they fix it for you really, really easily, or it's like a little, it's something silly. So use that help link. Anyone else?
if you've already done all of them and you have three to drop and you don't and you've got all tens you can make that decision because you're just going to get three scores dropped anyway mallory so i'm going to leave that up to you oh if it looks like an asu logo caitlin um manuel his looked different than mine Look, let me scroll down Hang on, I might be able to see yours, Caitlin. Tell me if you see your name. So if it's ASU, if you click on it, it should still be the same. Is this, no, it's not you. Oh, and then it just skipped a bunch of people. I don't even see that you have one, Caitlin. Yeah, did you do the first um, education assignment towards the beginning of the semester? Because if not, then you'll wanna make sure that you go in. Oh, okay, that doesn't mean, Manuel, did you get a score on the original one? It doesn't necessarily mean that if you're not here that I can't grade it, but usually if you're not here, that means you didn't publish. So if you did it, Caitlin, then yeah, I would go through the help desk because I'm not quite sure why, unless you did a setting change, which we did do the setup with the settings where you didn't make it public and same with you, Manuel, um, because if you didn't make it public, then this is only people that are shared. I can go in the back and usually see everyone, but it's better to have it shared. So I'm glad we did this. Take care of it right now, today. You have an hour to get that learning activity done, or if you already did it, which you should have, submit the learning activity and just spend time getting your, your um, digital portfolio learning reflection done right now or work through the kinks of technology so you know you don't have to worry about that. I don't think the help desk is available on Saturdays. Now I'm not taking late stuff because you guys have now had over, like a week to do this. Okay, is that it? Anyone have anything else? Speak now. Forever hold your peace. Okay, guys. I will see you in class next Thursday. I should have everything graded by Monday or Tuesday of next week. So you'll be able to go into the Blackboard and see what your final grade is. And then we'll start our final class off with a little five point extra credit quiz on Thursday. Okay, I think everybody's shuffling around doing stuff. So I will see you guys a week from, excuse me, a week from today. Have a great week and get your stuff done. Yes, Dana, health and well being. I think in my head, that's what it looks like. Yeah. And then click on learning reflection on the left side. Okay, guys, I'm out. I'll post this as soon as it downloads and is ready. Okay. Thanks so much for all your hard work and I'll see you next Thursday.